Hello my friends, it is I, Herr Mokolover, and thank you for rejoining me here in TNO, playing as Heidrich's Deutschland. So, last time we actually pushed very successfully into Goring lands as, as well as into Bormann's Germany. But I've found something kind of interesting here. So we have, we have you know, Bormann, Mr. Balding here. Uh, let's see, in the war, they need the cash, they got severe black arms traders, the, the, the legitimacy. They still have 75,000 manpower and still a good amount of factories. Uh, divisions are fine, but look at Goring. He has no more manpower. He has 32 factories now, but he has no more manpower. Zero manpower versus 75,000. Honestly, it seems like it's a better choice to defeat Goring right now, but Bowman's more along the way. Just, I don't know what's going on in this uh, campaign anymore, but that's okay. I hope you're enjoying it regardless, because this is uh, definitely a fight. I'm going to wait for this division to move out. We have begun attacking up here as well, and we will soon begin attacking München. And hopefully by the end of this video, we will have Germany no longer in a civil war. But we have no way out currently. And that sh might be the end of our focus tree for now. Yeah, it is. So, let's take a look at our little uh, Waffen SS support. So we get manpower, recruitable population factor for 20%. 10% more recovery rate for divisions. Minus 10% attack. Oh, more defense, but hmm. Well, that ain't good. Oh, we actually pushed through. Nice. Uh, actually, I'm not tr trying to make an encirclement here as well, which is a good thing. I just realized that we aren't trying to make an encirclement. That is what we're trying to do. So, there's not much else we can do except just keep pushing forward. And communists reunify Kazakhstan. Of course, meet the old boss. Cool. Well. Oh, Vyadka. Oh, Vyadka. You could have been successful. That's okay. Let's see. You guys helping out. Good. You guys hold here. Get rid of these divisions so we can encircle two more. And we've done it. Immediately enter the... Hooray, my friends. Good, good, good. Let them struggle. Let them perish. The Battle of Barcelona. Iberia's test has come. Spanish Civil War. Oh, Spanish Civil War. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good, good, good. We're so close to cutting them off. We need two tiles. Either here or here. Cut, the, cut everyone else off from the south, which probably will spell the end of the entire group here. But München first, probably. Let's get get our divisions to organize themselves first. That's probably going to be best. Get some planning speed. We don't have so much resistance that actually Upper Bayern. Uh, we don't really control it. Yeah, it's still resistance growing everywhere. So we have a limited amount of time of what of how we can do stuff. You know what? Send you guys this way. Uh, good. I don't think he has any upgrades, but we can double check. Hugo. Nope. Nothing there, and that's okay. Anyone else? Jorg? Bachman? Nope. That's okay. Come on, take München. That would be a great victory for us. That's a lot of manpower, not gonna lie. That's a lot of manpower. I wish... I wish? I wish we were not on... Oh, we got it! That's nice! We weren't on scraping the bro, but whatever. Today, Mon Bowman's le legendary resolve faltered from Munich. The capital of the movement has finally fallen into advancing forces. It was here that... Hitler's genius culminated in the annexation of the Sudetenland. Here, where our men gathered for the liberation of our Austrian brothers. Here, and here, where Hitler himself took to the streets to end the Weimar Republic. The birthplace of the NSDAP was not lost without a fight, though. Bowman's loyalists find every street. Civilians were pressed, ganged into labor brigades. Homes transformed into makeshift bunkers, and streets blocked off with an assortment of rubble. Ruined vehicles and whatever else could be tossed into the streets. Massive bombardments softened the city before the main attack commenced, and combined with equally determined infantry assaults, the defenders were forced to withdraw from the city. Bowman's position is precarious. With enemies deep into southern Germany, many speculate that his faction is close to collapse. Whether he and his loyalists can rally or, or recover or not remains to be seen. Stability works for legitimacy. A lot of legitimacy. Wow. Actually, do we have... We have 60. We have moderate. If we keep holding on, we can probably keep getting more legitimacy, which would help us out. Uh, Austin over? Uh, at this point, I could really use more divisions, but I don't know, man. We could push him back this way. Keep pushing him back. Yeah, let's push him back this way first. I think that would be for the best. Take one, go. Take the other one, and kind of hang out. Motorize. Get in the fray as well. Get there to get it here to get to there. Actually, yeah, all we need is these two. We could come here too, but we'll see what happens. I want to make sure we get rid of the line as best as possible. And they're trying to attack us back. Good, good, good. Alright, so these guys are so weak. I'm going to go do that. And we're going to cut them off this way. Help them out. Crush those motorized divisions. We're about to split Bowman's Germany into two. Good. Help them out. And, oh, we're getting attacked. Have we done it? Have... Oh, we're, we were close. We were close. 
They threw in a couple more divisions. That's not good. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and attack this way too then. We'll either win here or win down here. One of these two and we'll come over there too then. It's up for them. Oh, wow. Oh, we have minus... Is that m minus 45? I thought I said 45%. We have f minus 45%. Democracy returns to Italy. Democracy shines in the Mediterranean once more. Okay. Italy has gone crazy without any effectual leadership. Eff or effective leadership. Okay, then. All right, we got both. Great. Well, we've cut them off. Is that a lake? Can you guys come? Oh, you can't come there. No, you're going to have to hold, son. Nice. Uh, I'm going to have you hold here as well. So now we've split them up. I hope we can do something. Something here. Can you help out there? Can you help out there? Yes, no, maybe so? Yes? Yes, please? Well, these guys should be starving for supplies, as long as they're under ball men. Let me take another look here. All the men, no. 60,000? Uh, they lost another 15,000? Yeah, Goring's pretty much done at this point. I don't think he can really do much else. But we've still got to be smart about how we attack. Still have to be smart. Let's see, we'll probably attack here next. Get another division, come in this way. Give me the tanks, come down this way. We're going to cut, cut through here. Maybe take out Hanover. Yeah. Oh, heat integration, good. Grab some more. Alrighty, tidy. Here we go. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, you should be able to win. They're not that strong here. Tank on tank action versus infantry. Not too bad. Good, good, good. Uh, liquidity trade increases. We've seen that before. Whatever. Now, are they attacking down here? Black market available. I doubt it. But I do have a cup of coconut herbal tea here to keep us nice and very hot. It's quite hot. Uh, we can see that. I don't want to look at that, though. Oh, we can actually buy man pads. Air equipment. Man pads. I doubt it'll go through, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we could probably attack here next, actually. Or do we not want to do that? Hmm. Or do we want to do that? Maybe we do want to do that. Let's see what happens. I might be able to go a few more soldiers down here, actually. Which would be a great thing. Good. So come up here. Pakistan becomes independent. Interesting. Okay. So we get here to here, if possible. So, tanks, lead the way. Hopefully they can do a good job. You guys are all going to come here, because why not? Then have you guys come here as well, and then do that. And we'll hold the m mountaineers back. Never mind. Okay, whatever. And there's a hole in our line now. That's alright. Just keep destroying more divisions. Good. I might just take out Goring first. Since he literally has like, no more divisions or something. That's amazing. Oh, nope. Money? Money doesn't matter where we're going, right? I'm really trusting whoever said that in one of my videos, because the, the comment... You guys wouldn't lie to me, right? You guys wouldn't lie. Right? Go ahead and come up. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine for now. Go and up them out if you want to. Uh, good, because I'm going to cut off Erfurt from everyone else. I'm going to need a second. Do we have a second? Ooh, I don't want to lose. move that one. So, we'll see what happens. We're gonna come right here. Leipzig. I'd like to get to Leipzig really quickly. Here's probably the best place we can attack, but we don't have enough divisions. So, instead, Black... Of course, it failed. Of course, why not? Uh, let's see. Attack this way. Cut them off this way. Cool. You're actually gonna end up going that way. So, I'm gonna send one of you guys this up here and do that. Good. Even more divisions will be destroyed in the process. I want to act fairly swiftly with this. Oh, why did you leave too? That does not make sense. Get in there, tanks. Get in there. What's going on? Sverdlovsk unifies Western Siberia. Uh, Western Siberia. Western. Oh, okay. Well, a new candidate for Russian dominance has appeared. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck with that. Okay, now you're getting attacked like crazy. Hey, we, oh, we actually ran into division. Nice. If you can kill them all fast enough, it doesn't matter if they reunite with them. Ah, oh, good job, guys. A job well done. You guys can help out too. Cool. And if they come in, you know, whatever. It's fine. Actually. Don't worry about that. Half of you guys come up here. 
and then go there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you guys are actually starving for supplies or something? Or resistance or... Ah, Goring's German soldiers in the south. They're not doing very well, it seems. Good. Ah, oh, you caught me. I just merely wanted to encircle you, that's all. Only $55 billion in GDP. That's not bad. Cool. I'm going to actually have you guys go this way. I'd rather not get encircled. Hey, another division gone. Go, go. Oh, we got there just in time. Hey, look at that. <gasps> Military factories. All right, so we need a lot of guns. Holy cow. Just go for guns. That's fine. Hey, they died. Nice. Soldiers on both sides of the front are dying. Right, which is good. Which is a good thing. Can you guys actually get there? No, you can't. Can you guys actually come there? Yes, you can. That's a good thing. Help them out. Crush them. Alright, so we need to stop searching out the line so much and actually encircle people. Let's see. Two divisions. I'm going to call you guys back down here. That'll be good. And we are here. Get some more planning. Which barely is going anyways. That's okay. And... Oh, we definitely are too stretched out here, man. You go ahead and help out. We can destroy that division. We gotta kill these divisions off because I need to take effort. Nice. Get over there quickly. Get ready. Go ahead. Wow, those look really weak. Holy cow. Magdeborg. Nice. There we go. Crush them quickly, quickly, quickly. We got holes in the line. Good. Woo, we did it. Uh, you move up. That's fine. Uh, you move up as well. Awesome. Oh, these guys are starving. You know what? At this point, let's make sure that these guys can spread out a little bit more thoroughly, perhaps. Because I do want to limit the number of divisions here. I do want to emphasize more divisions on this side, actually. Uh, so we take that province and take that province. Make sure we stack up really nicely. We have 30 fall factories. Good stuff. We might actually be able to do a general push at this point, but I don't really want to risk it. Could you guys win here? Potentially. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'll stop it if it drops down to 49. Come on. 50. Yeah, it looks like it's going to drop. Not a good attack. Not a good attack. Uh, let's see. Actually, I can take out that tile first. 2v2. Who's going to win? Oh, well, actually, I think we are. Good. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take it. Good. Immediately enter. I know I'm taking a while, just that we don't have a lot of supplies. And uh, we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. And they died. And this group is gonna die as well. Great. You're gonna stay up here. I might cut off Hanover from everyone else. Good. Let's come up here. And they are. What's going on? Novo Siberisk, Unified Central Russia. Cool. Nice. Even more research is done. I love it. More research. That's a little bit ahead of time. It is 65. So, artillery maybe? Yes. And the mechanical blitz computer. Well, let's do this one. IFVs, APCs, artilleries. What else can we got? 66. Eh, nothing here think, right? Yeah, it's 70. And this is 65. Oh, yeah, let's get that. Cap growth. Alright, where is this guy going? Alright, I'm going to let them actually come up here. That's fine with me. Which guy's right here, though? We're going to surround Hanover, like I said, and crush them. You can get up there, actually. Good. Do that. A victory for the Front Democratico. Huh. Italy. Has Matoy T been avenged? I don't know. We'll see what happens. 2v2. We'll see what happens. The infantry is so weak. I think we should... We should do okay. Oh, you actually... Okay. Head down that way. Now oh, it's only one division we can circle. Like, I really doubt it. I really doubt it. I'm keep trying. I got nothing else to do with political power for now. 
We might need it eventually, but that's okay. Han Hanover just immediately fell. Okay, great. Alright, at this point, Black... Yeah, I'm, I'm done trying that stuff out. Alright, well, at this point, it looks like we can probably just march on through Goring's Germany and defeat him first. And then we'll deal with Balm and that wretched scum. I know he has a special little event in TNO, but I'm not going to get involved with that right now. He's, he's a... Borman is a... Interesting guy, to say the least. We'll put it like that. Yeah, at this point, they're so weak. They have, I don't know what happened to the manpower. Like, what have you been doing? The, situa the situation is becoming convoluted. Like, serious. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. He just got 66,000 more manpower. They have a quarter million in Bowman's Germany. Now they have 66,000. They must have raised their conscription level or something. Like, German Civil War. What are they doing? Frontline commissars. Um, recruitable population factor. Light. They only have light black market, huh? Unifies Western Russia. The old specter haunts Europe once more. Oh my goodness. I just don't know anymore what's going on. Just... I don't know. I really just don't know. But we're, we're getting very close. Oh, we cut off the capital. Even though they still have a port up there. That's fine. Uh, if you're going to struggle with that, make them struggle by the sea then. Try to get Kiel. Cut them off. Good. Rostock ca captured. Once one of the busiest harbors on the Black Sea, or the Baltic Sea, actually. Rostock has been thoroughly left ravaged as the civil war makes its way to northern Germany. The citizens of Rostock watched the, with dread as the fighting kept closer and cut up closer to the city. Hopeful citizens rejoiced when the enemy advanced up just short of the city. Celebrations were cut short as a shocking artillery and aerial bombardment rocked the entire city, entirety of the city. Well, I don't know how many planes we actually have, though. It's suspected that the world would be the would-be conquerors would simply tired of the proactive resistance, and such a brazen show of strength would break the city's spirit. The bombardment had the opposite effect. The civilians, who had up to this point been in different supporters of Angoring, rose up in anger in defense of their homes, seeing the lying between civilian and soldiers was blurred in a vast understatement. After sustaining heavy small arms fire from plain clothed civilians across the city, many people wearing plain clothes were simply shot on sight in the streets with few expectations. In response, the fighting took to the underground. The city's vast drainage and sewer systems were extensively used by Goring and his newfound allies to great effect. So great, in fact, that the underground systems were allegedly gassed more than once and combat engineers were deployed to collapse the tunnels, increasing the damage to the already destroyed city. Rostock University, one of the oldest centers of higher education in the world, and headquarters of the defenders was hit multiple times with ballistic missiles, completely leveling it. It wasn't until after the fighting concluded that the attackers learned that it was actually being used as a hospital and refuge for suffering citizens. Not a single soldier was killed in the strikes, and there were well over a thousand dead buried in the rubble. Goring's men bloodied and battered now have retreated from the broken bones of the city covered by his air force. For the time being, it looks like Goring has been put on the defensive in northern Germany. Ah, oh, the scene is becoming shockingly repetitive. And honestly, I think we're getting kind of used to it at this point. So, you know what? I'm done with you. German Civil War. We have high legitimacy! We finally have high... Oh, look at that. Oil. Oil. Always seems to be a problem. Fuel in general. Hamburg must fall. Nice. You guys, focus on Hamburg. Help them out. Help them out. Get rid of these people up here. Kiel captured. Kiel, one of the Germany's greatest ports and metaphorical gatekeeper of the Kiel Canal, has fallen. Fighting in the Jutland has already crept northwards, and the city was not spared the hordes of war. The canal's lay is mostly unused. Only the husks of ships line the embankments now, with the occasional pontoon bridge dotted the landscape. The fighting in the city itself was brief but fierce. Perhaps as many as 3,000 civilians tried to escape the war zone by boat, but the harbor had been mined. Most of the shipping was sunk as a result, along with their human cargo. Goring's men, meanwhile, laced most of the major ports of Kiel with explosives and used the resulting destruction and chaos to withdraw from the city at the expense of the civilians, of course. Goring has been driven out of the strategically important city, and the rest of the Jutland lays open, but the human cost has once again been great. You know, I keep forgetting that we have minus stability and political power and war support and stuff like that, but actually, war support's okay. Well, it's not okay, it's only 19, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't like less attack. But boost, 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 substantial. Uh, that's good. Let's see. I was just thinking if we had anything else here. Black Severe, Commissars, Burgundian Einsatzgruppen. Oh, crap, we have... What is that? Daily Compliance... What is this? Oh. I didn't realize we actually reused the Einsatzgruppen, which is... Uh, good to know, but a little unsettling, I guess you could say. We can't get into that. That's Danmark. Danimak. Uh, we're just driving through like crazy here now, which is awesome. Well, kind of kind of crazy. You guys are still holding on for some reason. Not sure. Oh, sh Nikes. We're out of fuel. Uh, I don't want to trade with Venezuela. I want to trade with Mexico. Sorry, cop us in. Fill us up. Once we... Oh, uh, Hamburg has fallen, and... We should, get a, we should get an event for Hamburg. That's a pretty big city. It's one of the cities on the has a port. Right? We got some more factories. Look at that. 36 factories. Our goods unifies Russian far east. The rain of terror marches on. What happened to the divine mandate? What happened? Ah, oh, they break my heart. More than once. Why? Alright, so without fuel, we're not going to do that well. I mean, we are buying more fuel now. 
go ahead and capture Königsberg back. That is ours. We need this manpower over here. Weissberg. Oh, yes, please. Go to Breslau. What do we do with all this political power? 45 flipping factories. Oh, we got Königsberg back. Look at that manpower. A Königsberg recaptured. No one expected SS forces in Prussia capable of launching an offensive that could retake Kozenberg. Oh my goodness. But Königsberg, but that's exactly what happened today. In a daring offensive that defied all expectations, the SS rallied what men and materials they could and launched an all-out attack on the city. Hostile troops and desperate civilians who remember the last time the SS were in town banded together, fortified the ruins, and prepared for an assault. The attack came from both sides, inside the city and the advancing formations. A still of SS loyals had been waiting the patiently and seeing the chance, put their uniforms back on and wrecked havoc throughout the city, killing anyone in their path. With the defenders' heavily guns already taken out, the advancing team and men were able to quickly enter the city where the hand-to-hand fighting commenced. It was a bloodbath. Neither side gave any quota, for no one expected any. The SS had the edge, though. Partially through training, fanatic morale, and just pure guts had taken Königsberg. Civilians flee en masse as grim men reestablished their stranglehold over the city. It's I told them it's not over, and they did not listen. Wow, we need so many guns. Holy crud. Now, we're doing better on missiles, though. That's nice. Posen captured. The all too familiar sounds of heavy machine guns and artillery strikes have finally reached Posen. The fighting has re reached new lows. Men resorted to using clubs and torches in this fighting as supplies became more and more spent while the killing continued unabated. The defenders were, up were well prepared. Civilians and slave laborers were directed to dig, 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 and construct an impressive ring of forts around and throughout the city. Strong points were meticulously chosen throughout the city, and many first generation settlers volunteered to take up arms against the approaching enemy army, refusing to see their homes fall without a fight. Both sides got their fight, though. The attackers' dreams were of a quick victory was dashed as they ran headfirst into the outer fortresses. Even after sustained heavy artillery fire, missile strikes, armored assaults, and then mass infantry attacks, were only some of the fortresses compromised. Granted, assault the city with nearly half of the outer fortresses still operational proved to be disastrous and a constant thorn in the side as the defenders stubbornly fought on inside the city itself. A daring assault by professional army soldiers finally split the defenders in half, ending organized resistance and posing. Although the city is still a war zone, enough control has been established for the attackers to claim victory. A couple forts still stand defiant, lobbing a heavy ordinance at whoever comes a little too close to their perimeters, but Goring's remnants off for all intents and purposes are trapped and irrelevant. What about those fanatics? Let them stop. They aren't going anywhere. Oh my goodness. Do we have high legitimacy yet? Uh, let's see. I love the Burgundian system. Uh, oh, that's... We did it! Goings, Germany's done. War is hell. Uh, yeah, this is it. State of legitimacy. Look at Political power. Efficiency cap. Training time. Planning speed. Beautiful. Mop them up. Actually, you guys. You all hold them. I want all of you here. Leipzig. Dresden. Aussich is already out though. Go, move, 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 if you can. Get in there, go, 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 go. These guys should be starving, but that's okay. The Rorschach already captured. Oh, it didn't seem like Rorschach could look any worse after Hamlin going to loyalists for the last for the last force from the city, but the upstart warlord once again defied expectations as his assault to recapture the city opened up with a massive rocket artillery salvo. Small squads scurried like rabbits amongst the rubble, the streets being simply impassable for any kind of vehicle. The mines and kill zones notwithstanding, entrenched machine gun positions were a nightmare to overwhelm, and danger close. Rocket artillery killed more than half their fair share of friendly surely, but slowly but surely. The attackers crawled their way through the city. The pressure was simply too much, and the defenders were finally forced from the positions. Oh crap. Rostock, or the rubble that is left of it, was once again in Goring's hands. Oh crap, where is Rostock? Wait, really? Rostock is in enemy hands? Hold on. Uh, I don't think so. Rostock or the, the city that's left is in his hands. It doesn't mean too much. Though. All that remains of Rostock is a dot on the map in the landscape of ruins. The few civilians that remain seem almost feral and keep their distance from our men. Likewise, the troops that keep a respectful distance more than a few men who went looking for loot or women have disappeared. Only their bodies will be found later. Missing hands or the genitals, depending on the crime. Sounds like a little hellscape. Posing recaptured. Um, if you want to read this, go right ahead. I don't know. Okay, we got Kiel. Um, uh, this is, oh, Ketavis captures, okay, the first shots of the battle of Ketavis were not heavy rattling of machine guns, the quick snaps of assault rifles, nor the booming of artillery fire, or even shot in Ketavis itself. They are precision shots from what was thought to be an elite snipers on the outskirts of the city. After hours of constant harassment, one of the culprits was finally shot as he shifted positions after his latest kill. It was no elite Kiel sniper, or even veteran of the Great War, it was a boy, no older than 15, wearing a Hitler Jungel uniform. Heavy fighting started up after the attackers finally entered the, the city. Artillery crews drank heavily as they launched their ordnance. Most of the snipers had turned out to be Boy Scouts ranging in age from as old as 17 to 11. Wow. And every call for sniper suppression was uh, more often than not a death sentence handed out to German children. It would later be discovered that the local youth leaders were mostly hardcore supporters of Goring who had called upon the members to fight for the true fear of Germany and save our homes and rapists from looters. Uh, currently, the current new one owners of Ketavis are too busy keeping their heads down and methodically combing the rumors for snipers to do much either. Moral, moral plummets. Morale plummets lower and lower as the body counts continue to climb. What about those fanatics? Let them starve. They aren't going anywhere. Yeah, I guess pretty much. Yeah, pretty much that. Uh, Alright, so everyone here. 
Come to Dresden. Burn it. Good. Oh, and make sure you actually go this way. Oh, oh, national protection. Oh, is it? What, what's going on here? National protection stuff? Oh, the fall of Leipzig. It's the birthplace of Johann Bach. Uh, Johann Sebastian Bach has been the center of the heavy fighting in recent days. Martin Baumann's forces have been driven out from the culturally rich city by their heavy price. Germans from both sides lay strewn throughout what remains of the city. Though damaged, many of the Leipzig's culturally significant buildings still stand. Although heavy artillery bombardment has devastated the industrial parks, and many civilians wander the cities or the streets, sitting digging through the rubble for lost loved ones. In the city of the city, over 300 men have created a formidable holdout in the monument to the Battle of the Nations. Though surrounded and low on supplies, it is expected they will surrender soon. Bowman suffered a great defeat today. It remains to be seen if it's loyal to this, will we have to recapture the strategically important city or remain occupied indefinitely? Uh, it's going to be occupied indefinitely. Let's be real here. We are destroying Leipzig. Uh, actually, we don't have Leipzig yet. We're destroying it, though. And they are gone. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. All right. Well, it is time. Oh, my God. What happened to these enemy soldiers? Did they starve it? Mm. Well, they capitulated. I guess most of Bowman's army was in this little pocket here around Leipzig and Dresden. Oh, we're going to have one glorious final assault through here. One glorious final. How are we already 25, 26 minutes into this video? I swear, I don't know. I enjoy this too much, man. Uh, we don't want to see that. We're spending $34 billion versus... Actually, that's not bad. $28 billion? That's better than I thought. Prepare yourselves. For after this, we're coming straight for Germania. Or also known as Berlin. Go, go, go. People pressure traders scum they deserve no less. Oh, I mean I guess Bauman tried to do that, but that's okay. Oh, that's fine. You know what? If they want to do that, well we're coming back then. We'll come back. We'll tank send all the tanks and those people that we capture, well we're just gonna run them over. The civilians not civilians. These staff members of the here. Yeah. The Waffen, really, SS. Uh, they know what to do. They don't need help. The German Civil War's. Oh! The. Oh! German Civil War's gone. Alright then. Well, did. I guess these guys just declared war on us, so yeah. Any upgrades? No? Nope. Okay. Alright, you guys hold. Get back, get back, get back. Don't let them come in. Spidol refuses surrender. From the beginning, we have been prepared to fight for our own Welthauptstadt. After all, the Germans will fight the hardest to retain their ideology of sin. To this end, we have proven correct. Spidol has predictably declared that Germania will never fall to the forces of Himmler and his puppet, and to call all Germanians to fight against us. Even if our people have raised us concerned on the future state of Germania, whether it survive the fighting, we are confident enough in our SS to purge the pure capital belonging to the arrogant citizen of any degenerates while ensuring unity and peace remains. The important news, most of all, is that Spado does not wish to end this little charade. The Pharaoh will fix that. The strongest shall survive. And you know what? We shall. Oh, look at this. Can we do anything here? Bombings. We have very high legitimacy, which is good. Oh, uh, we can start uprising. Uh, we already have 100 legitimacy, 5 influence. So... Eh, why not? It's okay. Black market available. I really doubt it. Yeah, I really doubt it, so. Well, they're definitely expanding. Trying to catch me with my pants down? No, 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 that will be you. I'm gonna have you guys just go straight up to here. Thank you. Take the capital. Man, they're really moving out fast with all them tanks. But unfortunately for them, th I have a bigger army than them now, and uh, yeah, that's not gonna look very good for them. Their initial maneuvers will not outlast me. And Germania is ours. They tried so hard. They tried really so hard. Oh! Um, I guess that's the end of the game. Score, 130. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Cool. So I guess that might be it. Gross Germanisches Reich. Can I... Oh, we're back on two-year draft. Nice. We're still mobilizing more. Nice. Uh, unassigned division. Um, am I on observer mode? Hold on. Let's see. Go back here. Tag Germany. Um, well, we're back. Reinhard Heydrich. Oh, we have National Socialism and Burgundian System. Well, now what? Uh, you should... Oh, I still can't... No? No? no I can't do much there. Oh. Messerschmitt, Cass, Eins? Well, it looks like that's going to be the campaign then. 
if there's not much else here, like, we don't have another focus we can do, which is a little disappointing, but I know that we only had, like, ten years, maybe, worth of focuses, or maybe five years. I know Hadrish did not have a very long pact or time and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, look at that debt and our GDP. Oh, we've been wrecked. Annual deficit isn't bad. Is on revenues? Annual deficit. Oh, it's only that much for deficit. Hadrish is victorious. International and domestic news today, media today captured the defining moment of a generation of Germans. Reynard Heydrich, riding into a ruined Germania. Nazi salute in one hand, surrounded by legions of his loyal SS troops, along with his guest speaker on a state visit, Heinrich Himmler. Oh! As anthems of the SS and Nazi st state played thunderously, Heydrich commanded his troops to form walls in front of the Volkshall, where he took the podium behind them. In the following speech, Heydrich emphasized how his new order would restore the Aryan blood and return the ideals that made our Reich the strongest to us, among other statements from the Butcher of Prague. Soon after, Heinrich Himmler began a speech declaring German Burgundian relations restored with an alliance to destroy the degeneracy where it stands, among other things. While German Burgundian relations had soared, the rest of the world has reacted in sharp condemnation, looking on in whole. The state, U.S. and Japan have nuts a buildup of nuclear assets, as well as full mobilization of their armed forces with several allied countries following suit. Hail Hadrish. Yeah, cool. We won. Peace returns under this guy. Falk Wolf, World War II fighters. Uh, are we making these fighters already? That's class cast two. What, what was the capital doing before we got here? Were they just being stupid? Yeah, looks like they were. What is this? What, no, we're not going to use interceptors. Mr. Schmitz. Oh, I'm not going to use strategic... Uh, maybe we'll use strategic bombers because they might be able to deliver nukes, but even then. Junkers, these are probably tactical bombers. I'm not going to use those. We've got a couple factories. Wow, we actually have factories. And that definitely... We had we have enough stockpile of stuff now. Wow. Um, cool. Put you probably at the bottom, though. There you go. Nice. Uh, I can't do anything with the divisions. Free dockyards. I don't think we can really do much here, honestly, with you guys. I don't think we can really do much. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, never mind. I might have lied. Okay, so we still have stuff to do. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see what happens. Orders from the top. Without the support of Reichsführer Himmler, we could have never achieved our borderline miraculous victory, and as such, we must obey whatever he dreams fit to demand of us. While awaiting further orders of the Oldenstadt, we shall continue transforming the Reich into a truly nationalist socialist state. Good. I'm glad it's not over yet, even though I can't do anything with my divisions. Like, I don't have generals. Oh, boy. This might be a little bit of a bug. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, orders from the top. That's pretty quick. We prefer independence with poverty to servitude with plenty. Indonesian war. Cool. Uh, I guess for now, keep building up some civilian factories. Things are pretty pretty well destroyed around here. Cool. Still can't do anything. Oh, actually, I can throw them on there. Okay, that, I make, that makes me feel better. So, returning their supplies. Refill the garrison. Let's do that one. So, the Olden Shots reserves have apparently been drained following their intense support for Hadrish during the Bogava Krieg. Rex Ferra Himmler has ordered us to send the vast amounts of our supplies westward, including fuel. Furthermore, he requires high amounts of manpower for the Ordenstadt, ranging from SS units to army engineers. These transferals will take place as soon as possible. We're getting demands? Uh, oh boy, back arms. I don't care about that. With us having to thank the SS and Belgians for our victory in the Civil War, there are many things now expected of us. While as yet, Herr Himmler has made no forward demands of us, it's emphasized the importance of us following plans set out before the war, involving the purge of dissident groups and the restructuring of society. Beyond this, we can expect more orders from him in the future, as no doubt our benefactor has machinations of his own that, have yet to be, that we have yet to be informed of. Fighting the black market, we probably want to do that, but we don't have enough stability yet, which sucks. Insufficient stuff. Oh boy, that's not good. Infantry division, get rid of them. Get rid of them. I don't want to use them now. Uh, if we don't need these guys, so be it. I don't want to be confused. Bergaval. Uh, just convert all the normal infantry to infantry divisions. That'd probably be good. Uh, artillery. Oh, we have no army XP. That sucks. Um, good. There you go. There you go. I'm not sure why I get rid of the generals, but that's okay. Falling. Salfenberg, wasn't the guy who did Operation Valkyrie in our timeline in 44? I think he is. Uh, well, I guess we could use you. Oh, what does that say? It's end no, route. Okay, refill the reserves. Uh, return the supplies. During the outbreak of the Burger Krieg, the Oldenstadt funneled us a variety of vital military equipment to aid us in our grand struggle. Now the Reichsführer has ordered us to return these military supplies immediately, from the largest tanks to the smallest food rations. That's okay. I'm okay with that, actually. Uh, in the meantime, go ahead and train. We need everyone here training. And you should be led by Gila. Train as well. Because we need army XP. Actually, how's this looking? Up. 
bad. Well, we have not no GDP dip. Oh my gosh, that uh, we're almost in a depression. Jesus Christ, that is terrible. Then again, I mean, we literally just came out of a war, so makes sense. Our uh, true motive. After transporting supplies and men alike, communication with the Odin Shot has abruptly halted. Reichsfeuer Himmler and his subordinates have remained silent for over a week, depriving the Reich's Ministry of Foreign Affairs of any form of contact. Not a single letter of phone call has come through to us, and we received no further orders. Silence heralds one of the true things the end or the beginning. Hedrich suspects something drastic is underway, but all we can do is wait. So I don't like what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and prepare ourselves, just in case. I'm going to concentrate you guys in the forest. In the forest? In the f north. Words difficult, hard. Hello, uh, Bachman did a great job. Come over here, guys. Uh, Coom, Coom, come, Coom. Probably Coom. Let's go with Coom. Let's see what happens. I just, I just want to get up to five. That's all I want is five. Okay, so budget-wise, we're building a lot of civilian factories. We're spending too much on military spending. Having a bigger military does cost you more, but also civilian spending is costing us quite a bit. So our true motive. So next up. Ooh, oh, oh! Had just been informed of our true, mo our true motive. Defcon one to defend the Reich. Top secret. Germania has always a city ever changing. Had just thought he stood in one thousand streets in the world's greatest city and stared into the old cone face of Hans Speidel. The statue had been torn down less than twenty minutes prior. One of the exactly forty-seven monuments torn down in the city that day when one of his men came in through the still setting, settling dust, carefully maneuvering his way through several of the commanders before giving his new thorough sharp salute. Mein Führer, he stated, I, the man struggled to, or Aish, the man struggled to swallow, his discipline seeming to fail under Hedrich's emotionless stare. Burgundian men, sir, they just landed at the Reichstag, sent on Himmler's orders to see you. We did not know. Hedrich stared at him for a few moments, seconds before raising his eyes to the rooftops, passing the milling SS men in the smoke and the buildings towards the towering Volkshalle a few miles away, and without a word, he began walking towards it. Does he, does good news come on eastern winds? Top ticket. Strengeheim. The holes in the Volkshalle dome still gaped wide from the battle with Speidel's traitors. The recovery crews, having never been given the order to dispatch to patch them or tear the entire structure down, and instead leaving the building looking like its great dome was poised to collapse at any moment. Time for tea. Temporary landing pads have been erected in the Grosse Platz in order to ferry in construction materials for various projects around the city center, and this is where the Burgundians had landed. Already, they sanctioned off half the plaza, space enough for exactly four helicopters to safely land at DB to themselves and their single vehicle. In front of it stood Werner Grothmann, still as a statue in a perfect SS uniform. Hedrich could smell a toad as he approached, but it said nothing. Grothmann was close to Himmler and worthy of respect for that, if nothing else. Heil Him Himmler, Heil Mein Fair, Grothmann shouted above the helicopter with a proud salute, which Hedrich returned in kind. He could tell immediately that Grothmann was searching for a reaction to the order of names, but if he wanted one, then he had been disappointed. Hedrich was just above the pe petty politics and ambitions of junior officers. Grothmann folded his arms behind his back and looked to the Reichstag. I come to you to offer my congratulations, my Führer. Heil Himmler has decided to be that you are to be informed of several things, he said as an aide handed him a sealed red folder. Welcome to the inner circle. Uh, Welcome. Hedrich nodded and reached for the folder, but frowned as Grotman shook, shook his head and hit it behind his back. I have been instructed to observe you while you read the plans and to <clears throat> assist you in the next few days. A private place for a red letter. Strengeheim. The meeting was surprisingly short. While the folder contained well over 100 pages, and while Grotman's suitcase apparently held hundreds more. The most important piece of the plans could have been summarized in a single sentence. And in a show of German professionalism and the cold hearts of the SS, it was actually proudly tapped out on the first page after one published, pushed aside the top secret stepped over. For the betterment of the Aryan race, for the future of the Reich, for the victory of the Untermensch over or Ubermensch over the degenerates, action must be taken to ensure the failures of the past cannot prevent the victories of the future. Hedrich supposed it was, it was as slower as a way to say anything that Himmler's plan was to end the world. Grotman had not said a word after they sat down in the dimly lit meeting room besides the order for his aide to hand Hedrich his briefcase. Instead, the man just sat and stared at Hedrich's face, blinking exactly seven times every minute. Besides one where he had only blinked six, in order to see if the puppet fear reacted with a horror of awe. Instead, he got nothing, most likely as he expected, the only noise in the room being the sound of pages shifting under Hedrich's hand. It was only broken when Hedrich looked up, the clock striking four hours past when they had sat down and closed the folder. When do we begin, for a better word, the Spartans shall endure. The world is coming. The end is coming. The German Reich will soon be bathed in nuclear hellfire to secure the future of the Aryan race for all eternity. This cannot be resisted. This cannot be reasoned with. This cannot be stopped. Our fate is inevitable. It is the duty of the fear to protect the German people, and even in the face of Armageddon, by hiding them from such horror. Hedrich will establish his promise of Spartan society to both distract and teach the masses, so that they may one day recreate its perfection. Mandatory Spartanism. Population war support. Factory output goes down. Doctor output goes down. Daily compliance goes up high. Ooh. Ooh. This is getting really interesting. The battle for Italy. Could Italy be the tipping point of the Cold War? Uh, yeah. These guys, not very cool. Look at that. Pietro Nenni. Oh, what a degenerate. Hmm. So our deficit's looking really bad right now. I don't want to lower my military size. Honestly, I wish this growth was bigger. Jesus Christ. Ugh. 
I keep coming back here thinking we might find something good, but I'm just gonna do that. 65, can't do that too. That's fine. Oh, no divisions. I don't want to train that much more because we can't really do much with it. Uh, that's 18, and the other one is what? Oh, this, this one's better. Let's get at least one more here. Motorized. Ooh, that's fine. Spartans shall endure. Attack grip all the while. Alden shut and shoots off all activities increasing. Transportation of nuclear missiles have been initiated. Nuclear cells are being stacked with SS gods. Such shadowy ventures have put both the civilian and military populations of the Reich on edge. The average German is too scared to voice dissent, and the average soldier would not dare resist the fear. Nonetheless, we must keep a tight grip on Germany and crush the few who would dare oppose us. Both the public and the military will be heavy, heavily monitored for any signs of insubordination. Total supervision. Lose division attack. Print the security. We lose intelligence, civilian intelligence to others. GDP cost goes up. Uh, you know what? We can cut this, but it really won't do that much for us. We're not really... I don't think we're really spending that much on, like, our military. This is not a big army. Like, this is pretty small. I mean, I don't mind cutting, like, one... Let's see. Let's try this. Military 22.2. If I get rid of one division, let's say the Dutch. Actually, which one is better? 16 combat width. 16... Uh, you guys actually have tanks on you guys. The Dutch actually do it as well. How about the... Is that a normal Waffen SS? Probably. Ah, uh, just get rid of this one then. The Dutch. No, let's get rid of the Russians. No, let's get rid of the Ukrainians. There you go. Does that help us? 22.2? I was supposed to read. It's supposed to, but no, it does not. Modified by 85% due to austerity measures. Uh, use military factories annually. Oh, so if we get rid of military factories, then that'll be okay. Attack grip on all the while. Fast-tracking warhead production. The limitations of resources and time will not restrain us. Designing new warheads and missiles from scratch is an impossibility, but we can rush the development of models currently under production and convert non-nuclear ICBMs into nuclear ones to make up for it. The Reich's nuclear stockpile must be as large as possible, and the Reich's feels a vision of a better world is to succeed. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we, we got a lot of military factories. Apparently, that's not good. So, what if we... Even if I converted them to civilian factories, would that help us with our budget? Probably... Oh, my gosh. Jesus. So, let's see. What is this? Healthcare, private preemptive security. That's fine. Uh, how do we get more income? Oh, that's the deficit. Income, income, income. High taxes, elite tax exemptions, fast-tracking warhead production. Well, this is probably going to be the final episode anyway, so DEFCON 1. Pack the bunkers. Under false pretenses of a major military training exercise, the upper echelons of the Reich are being transferred to the nuclear bunkers within the Orton shot to guarantee their survival. Over 1,000 high-ranking SS officers, government figures, and affluent members of the society have been selected by the Reich to him himself to endure the nuclear hellfire sent to rain down upon the world. We lose a little manpower. That's okay. That's really okay. Oh, this GDP is hurting me. Oh, that deficit. 20, almost $20 billion. Ah! National debt's so bad, too. Pack the bunkers. DEFCON 1. From the east to the west, our enemy's eyes are looking ever closer to the Reich. U.S. spy planes have presently shot across the skies while Japanese agents look in every shadowy corner. The movement of SS units and increased nuclear activity has thrust the entire world into higher alert as they fear the inevitable eruption of warfare. If we're not careful, the Japanese and fascist, Japanese fascists and American capitalists may learn of our true plan and wipe us out before its completion. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, we're about to go kaboom. Who cares? Oh, no, no wonder we don't need to worry about money. It's all gonna go to pot. Anyways. Woo! To defend the Reich, the time has come. Reinhard Heydrich is traveling to Ost Paris to meet the Reichsführer and hand over the nuclear launch codes. When exactly the nukes start flying is unknown to the Führer. He certainly have just one thing. The planet will be lit aflame in nuclear Armageddon and its subhuman denizens purged forever. Is this glory or insanity? It matters not. All we can do is hope for the survival of the Aryan Rest and resurgence of our majestic Reich. Happy 1966, by the way, guys. Happy New Year. So, if... Uh... Yeah, I'm not really sure how to grow, like, GDP more. I mean, usually, normally, if you're not like, fighting a four-way civil war, you, you have time to build stuff up. Oh, no. The, oh, boy. Well, then. And do we get an end game sort of message here? Because I guess, you know, money doesn't matter anymore, so. Uh, I highly recommend you switch to... Oh. Devs? Thank you? Uh, oh. Uh. Oh, it's lagging. Oh god, what's going on? What's going on? Oh crap, it looks like the game is... Oh, gone. I I'm, I'm waiting to see, like, nukes. Uh, well... Um, this is, this is a really cool. I love this. Because you might be able to hear the little sounds besides the music going on. 
And I apologize if the music is going to be too loud or sounds are going to be too loud. Uh, oh, we still click on that. Oh, oh, here it is. Every country, every own country gains low NKV. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Cell bunker, nothing happens. Uh, oh crap, I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh man, oh no. Oh god, it's lagging harder. Oh no, what's going on? Oh god dang, I wish I didn't click on this. Why did I click on the air map mode? Oh crap, what is the command? All gone. Okay, there we... Oh, this is the enable map mode. Oh, the game is lagging hard. Holy crap. Oh, Siberia's not having a good time. Oh. Ooh. God dang it. Oh, what's going on? Auto-saving? Our soldiers are still there. Building sabotaged? Uh, god dang it. I... Uh... Oh, there we go. I can see if I click on F7 or F... One. Here we go. Uh. What's going on? Wait, what? Uh. Does this. Occupied. Well, I guess we launched nukes. The West Midlands. I'm gonna let time go on a little bit more just to see what happens. Oh my god, look what happened to Italy. It got nuked to hell and back. Even including Rome. Half of the country just got nuked. Oh, only Barcelona got nuked. Where else? Uh, Vienna has gone. Uh, Berlin was nuked to hell and back. So was Königsberg. All, a good chunk of Germany was. Um, English, provisional government, the Kingdom of England, French state, Iberian Union. Oh, parts of Africa are as well. Libya. Yeah, Africa was mostly spared. Well, oh, except for South Africa. Wow. Uh, look at the Americas. Republic of India was hit. Uh, Ukraine got hit a little bit. Crimea. Um, oh god. There's a, are there... Don't tell me there's going to be more nukes coming. Oh god. It's lagging hard now. Uh, no wonder we didn't need money. How was it supposed to save the supposed Aryan race? Like, is it just nuke everyone around you? We nuked ourselves. I mean, we saw Gross Germanisches Reich, but... Huh. Strenge Heim, I guess. Oh, India! What happened to you? China! J oh, oh my god, look at Japan! Oh, crap! Oh, that is amazing! Oh, that is amazing. Oh, Indonesia's having a bad time. Uh, more portions of Africa were nuked. Uh, Germany is dead, it looks like, maybe? Yeah, Germany's, like, completely dead now. So is... In oh, the game is like... Oh, Italy's gone as well! Oh, Republic... The South will rise again. <laughs> Canada's gone. Almost all of America's gone. Mmm. Mmm. This is tasty. Yeah, the South will definitely rise again with Atlanta as her capital. Oh, I, are we really gonna nuke every single tile in the game? That's absolutely wild. Holy cow. Canada's still okay in like, the Arctic Circle, but... Newfoundland, you know, and over here as well for now. And we're about to see probably some more tiles getting destroyed. Okay, never mind! Our scroll is completely gone. Canada. Oh, okay, Germany's, Germany is a relic state. At this point, we might as well just zoom out, go as fast as we can, because Canada still exists for a little bit. The game is lagging, as you can tell, because uh, I don't want to look at this desert province anymore. Italy is dead as well, almost completely. They still have Sicily, it looks like. France is almost destroyed. Sweden is destroyed. We're, we're really taking our time with Asia and South America and Africa, but, you know... We already got India, so this is actually very interesting. I'm I'm really glad I chose Hadrish for his path because this is a little fun. It's kind of watching everything burn. Now, take your bets. What place next is going to get nuked? Once again, it's going to lag forever, but it probably won't. Oh, and okay, never mind. Mexico still exists. Canada still exists. The U.S. technically still owns Greenland. Oh, slowly, there's just more more black spots coming in and around. Up, oh, and it's lagging again. Kismu. Now, as it, as we nuke more and more states, it, the game should actually speed up a little bit more since there's less things to process. Things get taken out. Even Ethiopia's been nuked. 
yeah. This is this is definitely end game. Definitely end game. I'm glad I'm glad we played Hadrish. I like like I said, I'm glad we really played Hadrish. This is this turned out to be very exciting. I love what the devs have done with this. This is amazing. Everyone give a round of applause to the desk. They did great. Now I hope we nuke more of Russia here because they it just seems a little bit too organized. Kami's in the east. I don't think anyone should exist. We're gonna to return to Monk. Anarcho primitivism from fascism and national socialism. Here we go. Look at Australia. Oh, oh, they defeated him in a war. Australia is still holding out. They're still holding out, even though Siberia needs to get nuked harder. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go all the way to the end, probably. Because there's still just a little bit of states. Is that the Jewish state down there? Is that the Republic of Madagascar? Cuba is actually doing pretty well for themselves. You know, who would have thought? In 1966, 1967, the nukes would just go off like crazy. And they lost half the country. Can this all the workers survive in the turn of events expected by none of the state state lit in central Siberia? Mainly seen as perhaps the strongest of all the warlord states of Russia has fallen to a workers' revolution. The newly established Siberian Workers' Federation, an unstable conglomerate of unions, councils, and independent rebel cells, seeks to turn the region into a workers' paradise, even though they're dying like crazy. Oh. Cool. So let's let time go on, since there's not much too much to look to nuke. And now we prepare for President John Glenn of the US of America to Address a nation in the world as a press conference regarding the development of the American Nuclear Security Initiative and what is done for country. Broadcast began in 3 to 1. Good evening to the great people of the U.S. and to all people in the world who seek to live with the greater age, an age above the likeness of oppression and tyranny. Some have stated that in the world may only see, only rest when the nations of the world lay down their arms and work together for freedom for all. However, with the dangers presented in all corners of the earth, from the east to the west, it is our duty to ensure that the United States remains well prepared for any potential danger to the freedom and liberty of the U.S. that it is built upon. Well, I, I don't know about you, but, uh, the U.S. is gone, basically. This was the reason for which the American Nuclear Society Initiative was created under the watchful eye of our administration's National Security Advisor, Cyrus Vance. Thus, he has provided uh, America a new shield against the terror of fascism through the development of the U.S. nuclear arsenal in terms of strength and number. Today, the American Nuclear Security Initiative has stated the confirmation of the development of 50,000 nuclear warheads, readily available to de be deployed wherever may be needed. Thus, we have shown our preparedness for whatever storm may come to endanger the the country in the coming times. For the security of our nation and the security of democracy across the world, God bless the U.S. and good evening, America. From the family couch in the U.S. to the office of the Fuhrer to the seat of the Prime Minister of Japan, televisions across the world showcase the broadcast in each. A little of hope, fear, or danger erupted from all as slots of nuclear diplomacy adorn all. A shepherd for a sip for world. Well, I think we did it, my friends. We have butchered everyone in the world. Hmm. Wow. I can't believe we actually did that. All that fighting for that civil war just so that we would have some resistance and... We live in an anarchist paradise from fascism and national socialism to straight anarchy. Hopefully, I don't know why, I don't think the Aryan race would ever, you know, survive, but, uh, revenge. Uh, who is this about? So, if she was going to do it, it had to be done now. How long has she waited for this day? Ten years at least. Although it felt like an entire lifeline for Sarah Frank, a second generation slave who spent all her life toiling in the work camps of Oslo. Not one day longer, though. If you want to read this, go right ahead, but at least she got one. I mean... She didn't take pleasure in what she had done to the officer, but neither did she feel any remorse or guilt. She delivered just retribution, and her only regret was that the nukes were about to do her job for her for the rest of them. At least she got one, I guess. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it, then. Um, that's really awesome. I love what the devs have done with this. This was... This was really awesome. So, uh, that's going to be this campaign, though. A really short campaign, which is actually exactly what I wanted. But if you enjoyed the campaign, consider leaving a like. Ooh, is there a thunderstorm down where my mouse is? Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you and in another campaign where we hopefully don't nuke ourselves into oblivion. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.